Hey kids, Mr. Cozy here, and today we are going to talk about exponents, uh, particularly integer ex exponents. Um, along the way, we will talk about what to do when, when, when the base is negative, because this is something that students confuse a lot. We'll also talk about the difference between adding and multiplying terms, because this is something that, that students also get confused about. Okay, so let's get started. Um, an e e exponent consists of two parts. There is th the base, which is written large, and the power, which is written small. So this is x to the third, and as you know, it stands for x times itself three times. Now, if x happened to be a, a 5, then we would have a f 5 to the third, and that would be a 5 times a 5 times a 5, which uh, 5 times itself is 25, times 5 is 125. Okay, so something like 2 to the eighth is 2 times itself 8 times. Now, if you do this in 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 your head, it's really easy. Just take li little bitty baby steps. Two times two is four. Times two, well, that's eight. Times two, sixteen. Times two, uh, thirty-two. Times two, sixty-four. Times two, one twenty-eight. Times two, two fifty-six. And there we go. Now, of course, we could do this in the calculator. Uh, just 2 caret, which is right here, to the 8th. And there's our answer. Okay. Now, um, let's take a look at a couple of other issues. If, if the base is negative, let's look at negative 4 squared. Okay. That is negative 4 times negative 4. Two negatives make a positive. Okay, so if the base is negative, um, your result will will be positive if the exponent is even. Okay, negative base, even e exponent, positive answer. If the exponent is odd, we have negative four times negative four times negative 4, that gives us negative 4 times negative 4 is 16, positive, positive 16 times neg negative 4 is negative 64, okay? If I have a negative base and an odd e exponent, then the result is negative, okay? Now the part that, that students confuse a lot is notice my use of parentheses. Because if I write this out this way, this means something different. What this means is I take the 4, raise it to the third power, and make, and make that result negative. Okay? So negative 4 to the third is negative 4 times 4 times 4 or negative 64. Now there isn't much of a of a, a difference here, but there will be if it's even. If it's even, I have negative 4 times 4, negative 16. Okay? I bring this up because uh, students some will sometimes look at this and want to include the negative in the exponent. And if, if it's written this way, it's not included. Okay? Now that's super important when you, when you sub in for a, a variable. Let's think about x to the fourth. Okay? Versus negative x to the fourth. If x is 3, then this is 3 to the 4th 
which is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, or you can use your calculator, 3 to the 4th is 81. Okay. If x is negative 3, you've got to be careful because your impulse may be to, in your calculator, write it this way. And this will give you the wrong answer. Because if x is negative 3, I'm raising x to the fourth power. So that 3 or that negative is included in the exponent. Because it's, because it's, it's x to the fourth and x is negative th 3. Okay, so I'm going to get, if I enter it in how I have it written, I'm going to get positive 81. Because once again, a negative base raised to an, an e, e, even power gives me a negative number. This right here, this, this right here, corresponds to this situation where I have negative x to the fourth and x happens to be 3. That's what this is. Okay, and that is negative 81 because it's 3 to the fourth and then I make it negative. Okay, now just, just to round things out, um, if, if x happened to be negative 3, then I'd have negative parenthesis negative 3 to the fourth. So I would would do negative three to the fourth, and then make that result negative. If I do that in the calculator, I, I'm going to get negative eighty-one. Okay. So don't don't confuse these two situations here. Okay. If if x is if I if I have a positive x raised to a a power, and x happens to be negative, that negative is included in the exponent. If I have a negative x raised to a a power, um, that negative is not included in the exponent because it's 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 to the side unless it happens to be written like this. Okay, let's talk about one one last thing, and then I'll let you go. Um, uh, tomorrow we are we will review the rules for um, multiplying terms that have e exponents in them. And the thing you need to remember is that uh, the rules for for adding those terms is different from the rules for multiplying those those terms. So let's let's take take a look at, at a couple of, of, of examples. Let's take a look at x to the third plus x to the fourth versus x to the third times x to the fourth. Okay. Over here, I'm adding or subtracting. And the name of the game when you add or subtract is like terms. You need like terms, meaning that the bases need to be the same and the exponents on those bases need to be the same. If, if there's any difference whatsoever between the bases or the exponents, you cannot crunch them down unless you 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 happen to, to know what the variable is. Okay, so when you're you're adding or subtracting, you've you you've you've got to think like terms. These are not like 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 terms here. I cannot crunch this down. Okay, that's that's the first part. The second part is if you happen to have like terms. Nothing here is going to change. The base won't change. The exponent won't change. None of that will change. What will change if you are adding it are th 
goofy coefficients. They, there are secret ninja ones lurking in front of each of these terms. Because these are like terms, I can add them up through adding their coefficients. Okay? That's adding, subtracting. Like terms, it's got to be the same. Don't touch the bases or the exponents. Add or subtract their coefficients, the numbers out in front. Okay? If you're multiplying and dividing, Um, everything's a like term if you're multiplying or, or dividing. Everything's a like term. So you, you can mush everything together to your heart's content if you're multiplying or dividing. There is one, one caveat, which is um, as, as far as com combining bases. I can only com com combine them if the bases are the same. So this is x to the third times x to the fourth. The bases are the same. I can write I, I can crunch these into a single x and uh, spoiler al alert if you're multiplying you add the exponents. So the, this is x to the seventh. okay? If I happen to have x to the third times y to the fourth, Okay, I can still crunch these into a single term. I just can't combine the bases. Okay. Um, now, uh, a, a, a little neat, neat thing here is, what if the bases are the same? I'm sorry, what if the bases are, are different? though the exponents are the same. So, same exponents, different bases. I can, once again, write them just as one term, but I, I also have the, the option to write them this way, to, to group the bases together and write the, the exponent on, on the outside. I wouldn't do that. Um, I, I, wouldn't do this all of the time, but once in a while, it it is helpful to write write th things out this way. Okay, um, so just just remember that um, when you're you're adding and sub subtracting, it's all about like terms. Okay, when you are multiplying, it is all about the base. So uh, I'm gonna stop here. Have a great evening, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.